It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We left off last time with the frightening thought that the CO2 level um, in the atmosphere of this particular Earth might reach past the point of no return and ultimate destruction, um, which frightened me. I was thinking about what I would have to do with these people if they did that to our precious planet. Um, without looking at the board too much, though, right before I started filming, I thought it might be okay, and here's why. Although they didn't build any power plants last time, that's pretty normal in the game, and they have a lot that are ready to be installed. So here we have one in Asia that can be probably is going to be installed this turn. There's one in Oceania, one in North America ready, one in South America ready. So it's really just Europe and Africa that are wanting. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even if both of those end up being uh, coal plants, we're only going to get here, okay? As provided they construct all of these other power plants, and it's in their interest to do so. So I think it's probably going to be okay not to start off by setting all your fears aside because I think it would be more exciting if you thought that maybe the earth was going to boil. Um, but it's probably not going to, so maybe that's better for you. You, you probably aren't looking for a stressful, um, ten tension-filled show to watch on the computer if you're watching the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. But maybe you are. Pegasus was our first player. The first player little, uh, I guess, card, uh, Plank. First player Plank passes around each new decade. Um, she did not decide to build this. She could have, but she didn't. Um, instead, she put down a new, a new project right there. Um, but Banana, she did decide to build a recycling plant here in Oceania. And... So there we go, we put it there. She already paid her money, so she is going to get six dollars. No, she's going to get six points, sorry. And she is also going to get to move up one on recycling. And she's also going to get control of Oceania. So in the future, she can use these as though they were her own. Destructo's just uh, about finished with his turn. He's done a bunch of stuff. None of them included building a power plant, but first he bought one of these from the market because he needed one because he keeps selling them, which he bought it for two. And then he got, he used it to flip this over, got two for free there. Then he took his person, his scientist from here to Munchen, which gave him a and, and he played a card, which let him go ahead on this cold fusion track by doing that. Um, by going to Moonshin, he finished out the talks. Banana was also there, which let him move two two more on there. So now he's, he's all set to be able to um, build that power plant if it comes up. And then he also got up on the tree track, so now he can also build trees, but he's lacking in cubes. So he got a bunch of expertise did a bunch of stuff and it was pretty satisfying. Um, Banana also did well because she finished the talks as well. If you finish the talks quickly, it's it's a very good gain. Um, and it's nice to have your people going to talks rather than just sitting around out there, especially if you have two people on the field. All right, we're looking around. We're almost done with um, 1980s. Uh, it's just left to Destructo and Dick. Um, Dick didn't construct anything right here, so that's probably what he's going to do. Destructo's about to do his turn. Seeing a lot of uh, Banana and Little Red kind of just doing some more setup, getting some scientists again. Um, Pegasus finally, con she constructed her recycling plant here in Asia. I'm trying to remember if anything interesting happened. It's kind of gathering resources, getting things ready, diversifying. Uh, we're seeing a lot more busyness going on. Um, maybe I'll talk about Destructo's turn, so it, I think you get a better feel for what's going on if I talk during the turn rather than try to sum it up, because it's really just kind of some micro changes for the most part. 
Okay, so Destructo, he paid uh, Dick's scientist to move off. Dick moved his scientist to Roma, thinking, you know, he moves his solar there. He gets a bunch of expertise, which is nice. Um, in order to... So Destructo installed this cold fusion project, um, which allowed him to bump up his cold fusion up, so he's going to get an extra two income. So the income is based on this tiny number there, so one is two less than three, so he went up two. Um, and I think that's... Oh, he also sold one of these discs back to the market, so he's keeping the price low. Um, hoping he can start buying them for a cheaper price, but he's making a, a good profit. He's got a lot of money here, so he's going to be all set next decade in the '90s to per, to build this one and possibly. Well, he's not going to have enough white cubes, especially since he's probably he's going to lose a white cube to whatever the catastrophe is. But it could be the catastrophe happens in either Asia or Oceania. Um, there's a pretty decent chance, two out of five. That it does, and then he can use cubes off of that. So he's kind of setting himself up to be ready for that, getting some cash on hand. And then we'll go to Dick, and that's going to end out the decade afterwards. Dick's pretty happy about his turn. He um, he took uh, the Munich, or I don't remember what the name of the talks were. Oh, the the Madrid, the Madrid summit, all by himself. First of all, by moving his solar person there, that he jumped up a bunch on this solar track and he's doing well and cold fusion getting ready to, to be in the running to start creating those as well and remember he wants control cold fusion if he can build one here he can maybe get control but it looks like destructo might have access to that first anyway he did build he did get control of south america however with this solar plant so that's a good step on his goal and solar is tops so someone else would have to build build a solar there to take it away from him and he can maybe keep competing um, by building more solar plants, just kind of that way. So he got a bunch of expertise, um, and he's happy about that. He got some points. He now has the most points. He likes looking at this and seeing he has the most points on the track. I don't know if that's really, if we were to count money, if that would be the case. I guess we could look at Destructo, see where he would be if he were to do points. Um, that would be 5, 10, 11... 12, 13, so he'd be 13 with his money, but then Pegasus also has some good money, so yeah, I think Destructo might actually be in the lead right now, just, just with funds. Blah. Let's see what we have for our um, new dirty power plants in Europe and in Africa. Ooh, another four. It, one, two, three, four. Uh-oh, getting really close. Let's see what happens here. It's a two. That's going to be right there. One, two, three away. So really got to get some projects installed this time. They might actually be in danger now, um, but we'll see what they can do. Um, Income-wise, I think Dick and Banana were our top order earners based on the um, enter expertise track, followed by Pegasus and Little Red and uh, Destructo might have all been tied for four. I think Banana and Dick were pulling in five. Let's see what our next catastrophe is. South America, it's right there. So everyone except for Dick has to pay a cube to South America. Um, Pegasus can't, since she's so selfish, she loses two points. Banana can, Little Red can, and that messes up Destructo's plan. I always forget to think about that, and so consequently, so do the real people think about the fact that they're going to be down one cube when thinking about the future. But a lot of these cards give you a cube, so which it's kind of annoying, though, because then you can't use those cards for something else. Uh, uh, South America is ready for some some tech influx. It's It's got some nice um, bonuses they can give to any company that might want to build some green power in the region. Uh, no one's been planning to do that, so hopefully they'll track and entice some plants to South America, much like Europe did. Although, right now, it's all just plans and a lot of coal smoke. Starting off the 1990s, uh, Banana, she installed this project here. She's hoping that there's enough projects for people that can build them to build, that she'll be able to come around and build this one herself. Although, you know, just installing it is nice for her. Um, Little Red, he 
finished out the Paris conference, I think, the Paris summit all by himself, um, got a bunch of boosting. So he can now, he can now construct solar, uh, doing great on biofuel, pretty good expertise in those two areas. Um, and he decided to go ahead and install this. He needed the money and not the queue, but he needed the money especially in order to be able to build something later on. And he really wants to build factories because he gets three points for each additional factory he builds at this point. He doesn't get to count this one, but each additional one he gets, he gets two. So if he just builds a bunch of cheapo factories, they're an extra three points. So if you look at like this factory with seven, it's essentially 10. That's pretty good, pretty good for him. Destructo had a choice to make. He could have he could have built, he had three cubes in the funds. He could have built this forest and gotten more points, but he decided to build this uh, cold fusion plant instead. Reason being, there's other people who could build that plant, and he didn't want to have, uh, there's no one who else who can build the forest, so he feels like he has a little bit of leisure that he can wait and build the, build the forest later. Um, not a bad move. Shut people out and... Um, He's probably going to be able to score points on both. Dick is in an interesting entanglement with Little Red there. And the two have some similarities. In some ways, I think of Little Red as being Dick as an older man. Um, maybe like a future version of Dick. Or the other way around, you could look at as Dick as a younger Little Red um, before he decided to shave the mustache. So what's going on is there's this thing here. There's this thing here. Both are buildable by Little Red. Um, this one would be cheaper, right? But this one is more attractive because it gives you more points and the cubes are all taken care of. The thing is, hmm, this might help with his decision making. Banana here could very well build that cold fusion first using up the cubes, in which case Little Red would not have them. Oh, yeah, he would not have them. So I think that's probably the way he wants to go. So he's going to use his turn to go ahead and install this. And does he control? Yep, he's going to take that from there. I'll get three cubes off of that. And maybe as insurance, he kind of wants to put scientists down on both. But he's a lot more interested in the solar, because solar gives better chance of control, right? Um, he can use this card to put both the scientists down, and he might do that. That seems like a good dick move. So he will, and we'll see what happens with this younger and older. So he, he used his free move right here to move a scientist, and then the card play let him move another one. Um, does he want to use the market? Do you want to use the market? You could buy it too. That's not bad. But if you're going to have control, you shouldn't need to buy from the market. So he'd really only be doing that to mess with Destructo, but he doesn't know Destructo's secret goal. This is the secret goal that can be very uh, easy to figure out because people will just be collecting these things. Like, why are they doing that? Uh, but Destructo has not kept too many on hand. Banana built this power plant that took the cubes away from Little Red, so he can't use the European free tech benefit. Well, actually, he might be able to. Does he have... That's a skull. Does he have... He could use that to get a cube and do that instead. What would be the point difference is four. Resource difference is not a lot. It actually costs him... Well, it costs him a lot fewer cubes to do this. Um, that's a tough call. He's going to have to think about that whether he wants to buy Dick off here and build this one here, or buy Dick off here and build this one there. I don't know. After a lengthy deliberation, Little Red decided to go with the bio fuel, biomass fuel. He almost, he was really close to doing the solar. There was, a, there was some discounts there. Uh, it also has more of these, um, these uh, permits, which seemed attractive, but what, stopped him was he looked over at Dick's money and was like, oh, Dick doesn't pro might not have enough cash to buy it himself. And if he doesn't, that could cause it to go over the line because it, we're nearing the end of the decade. We just have Destructo, Dick, and Pegasus left, and we need to build a power plant there and hopefully here and here. 
to prevent the end of everything. So you really just kind of had to had to build something to make things better. This solar plant wouldn't have helped anything right now, though it would next decade. But uh, we've got a, a house on fire. We don't need to worry about the yard quite yet. So it's Distracto's turn. He doesn't have the cubes he needs to build a thing in Asia. He was selfish and decided to build the cold fusion so no one else could. Um, but no one else can build the, the, the forest in Asia. So now he is deciding whether or not to install this recycling plant. Reason you would want to do that is one, it gives him one of these guys, which is nice. Um, he did just sell one to the bank, by the way. Um, and it also could prevent the world from becoming destroyed because then Pegasus would be able to install it before her turn, which means we'd only be getting one new, new power plant, um, which hopefully would be a two. Yeah, it's really tricky, but instead he's not going to do that, is he? Nope. He's not. He is going to instead install something, and they don't call him Destructo for nothing. But what does he want to install? Maybe he'll be a little helpful with what he installs. Do you think he'll do that? I don't know. He's going to install something here, I think. But we'll see if he's helpful with it or not. He went here instead because he could get some money off of South America with a card. Um, so now Dick... He's got to try to make the world a little bit better. And his only chance to do that is to install this for Pegasus. So he is going to he is going to pay her a dollar, no less. So he's going to help her. But she'll go here, and so they'll all be exchanging information there, which isn't so bad. And then Dick has got to I'll go ahead and take it from South America. And he gets one of these. He gets five dollars, and we'll go ahead and do the expertise. Then it's going to be up to Pegasus and Luck to see that the Earth survives. Um, you'd think that the Asians could just decide to, to use natural gas so that everyone survived, but instead they're going to leave it to chance. <laughs> all right, so before I do any of the money and all the other stuff you're supposed to do before this, which I guess is just money, I'm going to go ahead and draw the tile for Asia. Because if this tile, um, if this tile has anything other than a natural gas plant, the game's over. So it won't matter if what what their income is or anything like that. And here we go. <laughs> oh, how lucky, Destructo! You just scraped by there. One, two, right on the edge, and I think. I think we're past the point of danger because really the only, well, there's still three places um, that are in that are in trouble next time. Um, whew, that was that was Destructo was playing with fire there. He was he would have been the cause, pretty much the sole cause, and everyone else just kind of trusting that he would put the forest down would have been the sole cause of their loss. That and bad luck. I mean, we had a lot of coal plants out, um, more than more than um, the mix, more than the probability would, would let you know. Um, so we'll, we'll go on to the year 2000 next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We're doing ecology here, people, with CO2. See you later.